All right, um, because I know I'm not going to make videos regularly unless I have a regimen that's going to be serious. I'm kind of over to goofy videos unless it's every now and then. And then I'm just going to make a video every now and then. So Fringe Elements has recently come out as a fascist person. Which, uh, I don't know about you, but I followed his little Facebook group, uh, the open one, uh, for a few months now. So I, so I know he's like, I know he's been fast for a while. And you already know I've been on Fringe's, been on his fan club for a while now, back when I only associated with YouTubers on YouTube or other content based sites and platforms, not necessarily things like Facebook or stuff like that. Actually, Orini was my first friend based on YouTube I made on Facebook and then Grog and then the rest is history. You got guys like Meraki, Heyruka, Joshua, shit, shit like that. Actually, going into the subject, Fringe publicly revealing his fascism might be a surprise. It might be a little jarring to a few of those guys that are still in the YouTube loop or maybe haven't joined up with the cool kids. Which, honestly, because here's the thing I dropped the whole Leon Red pseudonym around July of 2012 three or four days before I cut my hair now it's long again so around that time that's kinda of where little by little I was becoming more of myself and not just a gimmick French basically isn't an anti-status anymore he isn't he isn't even libertarian anymore. He's sort of, he's overtly fascist in the economic sense, in the sense that he's nationalistic. I mean, his ideology isn't white nationalism, but it is a form, it is somewhat of, I wouldn't call it completely fascist. Well, yeah, it, it's fascist, but it has reverence for other nations, other cultures. He's not going to be a crazy imperial jackass like me or Grog, where we're saying, all right, we should dominate other cultures if it best serves our goals or ambitions. Uh, we should reach for the moon. We should reach for the stars, literally. Literally. But the fact that this is a surprise really isn't, that's a surprise to me. Why should people care that Fringe is fashion now? you got all these libertarians that are like, Well, oh, man, all of Fringe's older videos kind of refute him now. The arguments that he's making really gives away the fact that he's forgotten everything about economics, which Stateless Liberty said. Please don't send me notifications. Fuck you. <laughs> but really like I don't think Fringe turning fash is that much of a surprise to me his haters are still going to be his haters even if he's basically overtly authoritarian now they're still going to dislike his ass they're still going to find a reason to hate his ass and I guess it's basically the fact that he's not going to be fully traditionalistic. He's not be a, he's not going to be a 100% traditionalist. He's not going to ground himself in something that makes complete sense because his viewpoints are entirely economics. It's all economics for him. It's all the study of choices 
that kind of help, that level of thinking, cultural views. He's going to have hold to traditions almost to the point that, except for the religion part, he's going to remain an atheist. And some people say it's because he's gay and in a completely traditional religious civilization they would have hung his ass a long time ago, but there could be more to that. And I'm not necessarily concerned about that. Well, this, this isn't flattering. That is my 80s haircut, really. But... I mean, if he, if he wants to go fash, more power to him. I'm not, I'm not fash. I don't. I still don't have the label for my ideology. I don't call myself a reactionary, like a lot of my friends do. Hell, I don't even give a shit about the monarchies of the world, kings and queens. I mean, if they exist, it's still better than democracy. But I don't really give a shit. The, the fuck. I see the fuck, but. I just can't reach for it. it. It's it's not necessarily close. It's not far. It's just there, but I can't I can't touch it. I don't care. Ultimately, I don't really care about French going fast nighter. But one thing I do notice that's really interesting is that his voice in that video matches his 2008 persona a little bit more. There's that gravel there, with, and it's not as nasally. Usually his videos are, he has an excessively nasal tone, which explains why he hates hearing his voice in his own videos, even though everyone loves the sound of his voice and they all try to emulate it. I actually remember my... My bro actually saying, yo, that guy sounds like a total fag or some shit like that, but, nah, he's my nigga, so, if Fringe goes fast, I don't really care, because, honestly, if it wasn't for Fringe, I may still be on Obama's side, so, fuck, more power to that nigga, uh, if he does somehow become more right-wing, even more right-wing in his viewpoints, because fascism is still populistic, and he's only in it for the economics, not, not fully the culture. And then, although there will be some culture, since he does have that racial viewpoint, which is a good thing, what can I say? We find something to actually say, a real thesis, a real point to this video. Kids, stay the fuck away from Southern California. This nigga moves to fucking Northern California, Sacramento, and all of a sudden he turns into a real nigga. You see, I mean, I, I should, I should stay away from. NYC, maybe my views will somehow turn even more badass. Go to go to a real nigga place. All right, so this is Mr. Wonka Seven, and for the second time in a, today, I'm gonna say suck my dick at the end of the video. Yeah, let's bring it back to 2011.